my name is Lily Turner. I'm 17 years old, and this is my transition speech. My computer broke. <laughs> okay, so I'd like to start by talking about my parents, who have been major influences in my life. Um, my mom, Tammy, and my dad, Paul, have really made a profound effect on my life, not just by bringing me into this world, but also raising me. Um, they are definitely very different people. But <laughs> they met on the Swans Island Ferry many years ago, and after they got married, they moved into a really small one-room cabin in the middle of the woods of Maine, just so that they could live a very simple life and be happy. And they definitely preached that to my sister and I as well. Um, after a while, they moved to a little trailer in the woods of Tremont that I still live in today. And um, they actually got divorced when I was 12 years old, probably because they are very different people. Um, but they still continue to influence me in their own ways. So I'll start with my mom. She was born in Bar Harbor and was raised on Frenchboro. She stayed local when she went to college and went to COA to become a teacher. Um, after becoming a teacher, she actually started to co-run the Young Environmental Leaders Program at the Biolab. Um, that is a program where middle school students can get immersed into the life of a marine biologist. Um, while she was doing that program, I was very young, so I was brought to the Biolab since I was very little. And I would spend my days um, looking through telescopes with Jane Disney or running around this huge tank full of dogfish. They would all swim in circles and I would run around with them because I just wanted to be a part of the gang. <laughs> but I think she really introduced me to my first connections to science. Um, and not only that, she also taught me how to think like a scientist. So I basically lived my whole life looking at the world um, with that, through that scientist lens. So my dad is from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Um, when I think of him, I think of the fact that he is an amazing runner. He has won races all over the country and is just such an amazing person. <coughs> Um, as I was growing up, he of course wanted me to get into running as well, so being very little, he put me into these races with a bunch of kids who were way older than me, but he would run alongside me the whole way. Um, I think he really gave me the work ethic that I have today, just through sports, and I really think that he is a huge part of who I am. Um, another thing that I think of when I think of my dad is the fact that he is a landscaper, and it's kind of more than just his profession, he also kind of views the world in this really unique way where he just sees nature as a work of art, and he creates works of art using nature. And I just feel like that's where I got my real appreciation for nature, while I got my appreciation um, for science from my mom. So my childhood. I was born in Bar Harbor on February 5th, 2001. Um, I have lived in that same little trailer, as I mentioned earlier, in the middle of the woods of Tremont for my entire life. Um, as you can see, I was a super tomboy. I was not about the princess dresses. I was all about the plaid. Um, I, my sister was always the princess, and I was always the one who would want to be like, go outside and shoot hoops in my little baby basketball hoop with my dad and just hang out with my dad. I had a onesie when I was little that said, because we were Green Bay Packers fans, because my dad's from Wisconsin, so I had a little onesie that said Packers baby on it. <laughs> always a sports kid. Um, I was definitely very strong-willed. And quite frankly, I was a bit of a brat. I believed it was my way or the highway, so. <laughs> so obsessive compulsive disorder. I was diagnosed with this disorder when I was 14 years old, but I kind of always knew that I had it. Um, whether it was when I was way younger, I collected my lucky things. They were just kind of random objects that I believed the world would end if I ever lost one. So I had bags and bags full of stuff that just contained little memories in them. Also, when I was about seven years old, the only thing I wanted for Christmas was a vacuum so that I could clean my room the right way, because apparently my dad just wasn't doing it right. <laughs> so I, I kind of always knew that I was very obsessive. Um, but yeah, the, the kind of definition of the obsessive compulsive disorder, if you don't know, is basically just obsessive behaviors which lead to repetitions. Like, for example, the number that I do everything in is sets of three. So if I leave a room, I'll tap a chair three times, or if I mess up, I'll have to start over and do it a couple more times. A lot of people don't notice it, because I've had it my whole life, and I never took medication for it, so I kind of found a way to not let it hold me back. Despite it seeming like it would be something that I would struggle with, it's actually something that has helped me a lot. Most of all, it's kept me very, very organized, <laughs> for sure. And um, rather than letting the anxiety that it gives me uh, kind of negatively impact me, I use it as motivation. Like my incredible fear of becoming disorganized, 
so it allows me to do class assignments really early. I don't know if any of you noticed. <laughs> I definitely get it done really quickly because otherwise it's just always in the back of my head. So I kind of allow myself to be obsessive about things that can be productive rather than things that will hold me back. So the outdoors. I absolutely love the outdoors. <laughs> I spent my entire childhood outside, again, probably because my parents were always out there, so I was always just with them. Um, I kind of always knew I wanted it to be part of my future. I wasn't sure how yet, but I just knew that I absolutely adored it. Whether it was going on the ferry boat with my dad, or having cookouts at Back Beach, or running through the flowers and looking at butterflies, or playing in the snow. Um, most of all, you can see on the left there, I loved playing in my backyard. That was my absolute favorite thing. So, who my initial interests? Tarzan. Tarzan changed my life. <laughs> if I had never watched this movie, I don't think that I would be who I am today. Um, I love Tarzan so much that I actually wanted to be Tarzan to the point where I would refuse to use silverware when I ate because animals didn't use silverware when they ate. Or I would refuse to come inside from climbing trees and pounding on my chest like Tarzan in my little Tarzan costume. Um, <laughs> More than just wanting to be Tarzan, I also wanted to be Jane. I wanted to both be an animal and be amongst the animals, but also help the animals and study the animals. Um, so it really just created this complete love of the outdoors because I just always wanted to be out there being Tarzan. Um, another thing that I really liked when I was younger was insects, which seems like a really weird thing to like when you're little, but <laughs> they were small like me, so <laughs> I thought we connected. <laughs> Um, I love them so much that I had my mom paint little cartoon ones all over my wall. They're still on my wall today. I had a matching comforter that had insects on it. Um, I had my own little worm farm. I had named all of my worms and I loved them dearly. Um, I also, whenever my sister would kill a spider, I would cry for probably two days. I'd have a little funeral for